welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to stylish niger youtube channel i appreciate your love and your support towards stylish niger youtube channel okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to how to cut and sew a scallop edge neckline scallop edge neckline scallop edge yoke scallop edge just how to achieve the scallop edges but in this video, we are going to be dealing with this yoke, so you can see it is very beautiful. I came across it, so I decided to share how to do this. It's very simple. I've been getting a lot of requests on how to achieve this kind of neckline. So uh, today, I just decided to do a more detailed tutorial. I actually have it on my channel, but that one was not sewn. So this one, we are going to sew it. I'll show you the measurement to achieve this kind of um edges that's the, the width of this kind of edges so that's what we're going to do today if you are new to my channel like i said you're welcome if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel hit on the bell to get an update whenever i upload a new video and then if you want to register for our online classes so you can see my number scrolling through the screen you can send me a message on whatsapp for this um, tutorial i'm going to be using the princess that bustier pattern so you can use any pattern of your choice since it is a yoke but i choose to use the princess that bustier pattern which i already have on my youtube channel in case you don't know how to cut it it's a very simple process if you watch many of my videos i normally i sold them i normally use it but on today's one i decided not to start it from scratch just let's just go straight to the point so for this neckline we're going to be using interfacing i'm going to use interfacing just to make the neckline relax very well so you can see what we have here on the screen so now let's get started so i'm just going to elongate my lines as I just like highlight them okay so now let's get started so for this kind of neckline the first thing we're going to do we're going to mark out the length that depends on how deep you want your yoke to be so for this so this is my bust point, my under bust and then my half cut. So for this yoke, we're going to be using, because it is going to, it's like an undulating yoke, it's coming up and down, up and down. So you don't want to come down so much to 8 inches and then start going up. So if you see from the picture, it's not really very deep, it's not a deep yoke, it's well covered. So what I'm going to use for this yoke, I'm going to start with about 6.5 inches mark. So this is going to be like my benchmark. So I'm just trying to, to get a mark for it. So the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to add our scallop design. In adding the scallop design, you are going to, if you on uh, scallops that are very tiny, that's the, the zigzag edges. If they are very tiny, they are always very difficult to sew. And, and then at the end of the day, you are not going to achieve the beauty of it. So for this kind of scallop, if you want it to come out properly, you can decide you can use about two inches interval. So that will make it will make it after sewing it will come out beautiful well. So for this, I'm going to use about two inches. So I'm going to come like this on this point. I'm going to mark two inch like this. Okay, so now we're going to continue. So I've used uh, my pencil to mark out everything. So I want to, so I will be able to explain it very easy for you people. So you understand it easily. So for this kind of, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to cut out the yoke. So what I'm going to do now to cut out the yoke, I'm going to take another fabric. I'm going to take another fabric like this. And then I'm going to place it. I want to cut out a normal yoke. That's not the scallop yoke. So from this point, I'm just going to trace my yoke from my from my chest line. That's your normal chest line, eight inches. So from this ample part, I'm going to trace it out. So I'm going to take so because my fabric is transparent, so I'll be able to do this. So I'm just going because I'm going to use that. That's what I'll use to cut out the yoke. So I actually have a video of how to sew a yoke, that's mean how to cut a separate yoke in case. So this is what I'm going to use for my yoke. So I'm just, I'm just going to. 
So this is what I will use for my yoke. So I'll keep it on the side. We're going to work with it. So now let's continue with our neckline. So in doing this kind of scallop neckline, from what we have on the picture, you because you want it to be to be bold because this kind of scallop neckline, if the 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 curves, if they are too small apart so after sewing it's going to be too so tiny but from this picture here it was actually bold bold um circles that were added so that is why you see it is very bold so in doing this kind of neckline so what you are going to do first you are going to determine where you actually want to start it from that's how high you want it to be so i'm going to start with from 7.5 so that's where like my yoke is going to be so this 7.5 here. So I'm, I'm using the 7.5 as, as a benchmark, like a, a line, like, like a mark. You understand? So from this 7.5, I'm going to come to this part. That's this. Because if you notice, the, the scallop did not get into my that. That is my side that. So from this point, I'm going to mark. I'm going to make sure that I have about one inch apart. So you see, it's not close. I have about one inch apart. And then I'll come to this side also on this armhole part is about two inches. So we're going to mark now. So what we're going to do, we're going to start from this center one. So I'm going to use 2.5. You can use two inches. You can use 1.5. But 2.5 is going to make the, the scallop bigger. So we're going to use 2.5 inches. So I'm going to come to this center now. The first thing, okay, let's cut out our neckline. So for the neckline, I'm going to use three inches for my neckline. That's the width. So this is three inches for my width, neckline width. And then from this point, I'm going to mark 1.5 inch. So you, if you notice, you see that the neckline is high. That's the one on the yoke. So I'm just going to place it here. So it will serve as a guide for us. So that's it. That's the neckline. So the next thing, we'll come to this point. From this center front, I'm going to mark 2.5 inches. So this is 2.5 inches here. And then from that 2.5 inches, I'm going to make a curve. So this curve, you are the one that will determine how high you want it to be. That's the gap between your, your base and, and the curve. So from this point, I'm going to curve this into my center front like this. So when I curve, I'm going to check. So what I have here, the height is 1.5, which is okay. So from this point, again, I'll mark another 2.5 inches to this point. So from this point, like I said, it's going to, um, on the dart line, I'm using one, one inch apart. So I don't want them to come together. So from this point, I'm going to curve like this. So I'll curve it into this point and then I'll mark another 2.5 inches again. So I'll curve it. And then when I get to this point also, another 2.5 inches, I'll curve it. And then the last one that I have that entered into the neckline is not up to 2.5, it's 2 inches. So I'm just going to curve it anyway into the neckline point. So at the end of the day, you see what we have. So we're going to cut this hole off like this. And then this is good. So this neckline, I'm going to add it on my yoke, which is three inches. Because the scallop is going to is going to get into the neckline part. So I hope you understand. So now let's cut. So I'm going to take my scissors like this. So at the end of the day, so you see what I have. So I'm going to place the yoke now on it so you will see. So you see how it's going to look like on it after sewing. So you see this coming to the neckline. So the neckline I'm going to add on this part. I'll do that when I transfer my yoke to my lace. I'm going to use a lace for the yoke. So I just want you to understand the whole concept. So the next thing, I'm going to cut out my dart. OK, 
Okay, so what I have here, and I'm going to transfer to my fabric. So you note that this part, I'm still going to cut out one side from my fabric. Because one part of it is like the, is like a tube. So I'm going to cut, cut it together first before taking out that part. Okay, so I'm going to start stitching now, but I want you to note my lining. I'm using the same fabric for the lining, but if you notice, you see that I did not cut out my lining. So it will be easier for me to stitch it and then trim it out instead of instead of trimming it out first before sewing. So it's easier to sew this way. So I just took I just took another fabric so it did not get to the down because you are still going to cover this up with the regular, the full line. So I'm just using a fabric of about 13 inches that just went after the under bust. So now I'm going to stitch, I'm going to pin it down to secure it. And then we're going to stitch the lines. We're going to stitch on the neckline to just secure it. Make sure you are not pushing it, you are not pulling it. So I'm going to start from this part like this. So I'll just trace my scallop. I'll just trace it gently. So once you get to that part, you pin it down and then you continue. It has to be a gentle stitch and neat stitch. So I finished stitching. The next thing, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to trim it. So I'm going to trim out like this and then trim out those parts. So you cut this as close as possible. So it relaxes properly. So I'm going to turn it out and then I will go and iron it before joining the side to it. So I'll go ahead and go and do that right now. Okay, so you can see, so I finished stitching, so you see the neckline how it is looking so the next thing now i will go and join the side of my the princess that on the side like this so i'll go ahead i'll take it and then i'll go and stitch it before coming to um put add, add the yoke on it so do do that just your normal stitching okay so i've joined my bodies together so i've joined the side side the next thing i'm going to show you how to attach the yoke so this is our yoke that we cut out. So this is the neck part. We are going to take this like this. And then we are going to place it because it, it is a stitched, um, a stitched, actually stitched on top. So you are, use your neck, the neckline part as a guide. So I'm going to pin it down on that part. And then I'll come to the center. So make sure that it is laying straight because this part you're going to actually, the part where the stitch is going to be is on the shoulder and the armhole part. So the other part is going to, you're just going to use needle and thread to tack it in so as to secure it down properly. So I've pinned that part. So the next thing I'm going to trim, I'm going to trim the, the yoke. A little bit because I don't want it to go into my butt, the bust and part. So 
So my bust and part is ex exposed now. Because I'm going to be joining my lining along this line. So you can make it, you can take it up a little bit more. So it does not interfere with the bust area. So that is why I'm trimming it just to reduce it. Okay, so you see what I have now. So the next thing we're going to, I'm going to fold it like this. I'm going to take my lining and then I'll place the lining like this. I'll place the lining like this. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the yoke line as a guide. So this is my yoke. So I'm just going to use my yoke as a guide to cut it into my armhole part. And then I'll cut this part off. And then I'm going to talk, take this like this. And then I'm going to join this now like this. So you see how easy it is. So I'll take it back to my machine now. And then I'll stitch it. I'll turn it from the inside like this. And then stitch it on the yoke. That's on the yoke line like this. I'll stitch it from the inside. And then it covers the rough edges of my stitch. And then this yoke part is neat. And then this other part of my yoke, I'm just going to use a needle and a thread. You know, because this part is doubled, I'm just going to use a needle and a thread to tack it on the lining part. That's this neckline part. I'll just tack it with a needle and thread, but it does not come out on the outer part. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'll cover up the lining the way I explained to you. And then I'll tack it and then put it on the mannequin for you to see how it looks. And then trim all of your trimmings. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you could see on what we have. So I finished securing it down. So see how the inside looks like. So you see the inside is covered. So you see our the inside of the stitch is neat and clean. So like I told you, so I actually used a, a running stitch to stitch the neckline down. So you could see it from this right hand side. So you see it's not coming out because it's stitched inside. So now I'm going to place it on the mannequin for you to see the final look. So you see, because the yoke did not get into the bust part, you are still going to get the, the, the effect of the bust here. So I'll just place it for you to see the final look. So it came out. Okay. So at the end of the day, so you could see um, what we have on the mannequin. So you could see the neckline point. So my mannequin is actually not the pinnable one. So I struggled a lot just to get it to get it to sit on it so you could see the neckline so everything so all you have to do is just pack this part you just pack it from the inside and then do it just the same way that i told you and then it's going to come out fine um i have now come to the end of this tutorial seriously so if you find it helpful i will appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what i did and then if you try out this pattern please i want you to share it with us on our sewing group on facebook stylish niger sewing group so just share it with us or you can share it with me on my whatsapp also and share it with your friends share the video with your friends tell other people about stylish niger channel so thank you so much